Sarah from Brooklyn Lab School. Today we are here to talk about breeding tilapias for aquaponics. Tilapias are a species of fish found in the Pacific countries. Tilapias are freshwater fishes. Um, they are mainly freshwater fishes, but they have been found in warm water in many countries. Some places you can find them are Fiji, Tonga, the Marshall Islands, United States. So for, in order for you to breed this um, male and female, you have to identify which one is a male and a female. So it's very quite, it's, it's really simple. When the tilapia weighs about one ounce or 25 grams, that's when you will be able to completely identify if it's a male or a female. And you have to look at the gen uh, genetical area where it's, it's located under, uh, behind the uh, anus. So this is the male because the male has a genital uh, papilla that's shaped like a tapered shape. And the female has, so the female has two of them and the male has one. Because the female, um, the first ones that they have released the urine, and the female, that's a separate one because it releases the egg. Now you're wondering, how do I make them breed, right? Well, I'll tell you. First, you're going to need an aquarium, a tank, or even your backyard pond. You, you need it to be at least six times longer than the male tilapia. Second, you're going to have to fill it up with dechlorinated water because it works as a filter for the fishes. Third, you're going to have to measure the temperature of the water. It needs to be warm water. Fourth, you're going to have to make sure you feed it a good high protein diet. And lastly, what you must need is a second tank because when the tilapias, um, when they're baby tilapias, you're going to need to remove them from that one tank to the second tank because the male tilapia can, can get really aggressive and eat the babies. No one wants that to happen, right? Mouth brooder. What is a mouth brooder? Tilapias are mouth brooder because they're fish that actually allow the eggs to hatch in their mouths because they want to protect their eggs. As he said, from other males, other uh, fishes from eating them. A male actually, when it's age, when it's at, um, at a stage for breeding, it actually finds a territory where it can breed and fertilize its eggs. Um, so after it finds that it's very aggressive, like when it's, when it's trying to mate with a female, it's very, very, very aggressive. It uh, goes to the point of killing them. However, however, the females are very subordinate behavior. They actually hide until they're prepared to spawn or give eggs and produce young. Um, and fun fact is, so when, it, when a, a female um, tilapia weighs about one ounce, she can lay up to like 50 eggs or more. But when she's a fully grown, she can lay up to 2,000 eggs or more. So it's a diagram where you see the first fish, it's the female when she's laying the egg. And the male comes and he fertilizes the eggs. And then um, lastly, the, when the female comes and takes the eggs in, into our mouth. Here is a tilapia. As you can see, there's something inside its mouth. What is it? It's the eggs. Yes, the eggs. Those are the eggs that the male fertilizes. The tilapia, the female tilapia holds it in its mouth to ensure proper hatching. It's our Brooklyn Lab School experience. So um, recently we had baby young fries, which are called baby uh, tilapias. So um, when we first re realized that she had eggs in her mouth, we actually quickly transferred her to a different tank so that when the eggs hatch, the other fish don't eat them. So we have about like a total of six tilapias in our farm. So as soon as we moved, like it was on a Friday, and then when we came back on Monday, we had like more or less 50 eggs. When we moved her to the other tank, the old tank, she was actually a frightened that we were moving her. So she had a few of them in her mouth. So what tilap female tilapias do is after they hatch, they, take, they keep them in their mouth for five to seven days to ensure they grow healthy and they're not eaten by any other um, fish. So um, she was frightened by the fact that we're moving her, so she had some of them in her mouth, and we're scared that she would eat them. Um, but in the old tank, she released these um, young fry, and then she was protecting them. She was so aggressive toward the other male and the female tilapia fish, she basically had like three fourths of the tank. And she was very, uh, when they would come to the near, like she would, they would come close to her, she was so aggressive, she would chase them away. So actually this aquaphonic um, tilapia tank actually helps us to use less um, man-made fertilizer and ha eat fish that actually has plant nutrients. Thank you. Uh, I would like to give a round of applause to our sponsor, David Hazan, uh, Mr. Short for helping us bring here, coming here, and you guys. Thank you.